What's up guys? This is Zarbrawl. I hope everyone is doing great. I uh, just wanted to take a few minutes to make a unscripted kind of guide for once. I wanted to look into the GitLab website to see the placeholder IDs for all the different notorious monster within the Wings XI private server. Boy, that's a mouthful. Uh, I am not a programmer in any way, shape, or form. I am not even computer savvy in any way, shape, or form. So this is just kind of the basic stuff that I learned on my own or by asking questions to others. And now I will be sharing this on to you. So first thing we're going to do is go on the Wings XI GitLab. I will have a link to it in the description of the video. From here, you can go into the search tab and simply type in the name of any notorious monster, replacing the spaces by underscores. So in this case, we'll write Valkyrm Emperor. I don't know why I'm putting caps there. There's really no point. And we're going to finish this with PH. We're going to hit enter. And in this case, you can already see the information we're looking for. We're going to still click on the first Lua file to kind of expand this. And there we go. So we have here the mob ID for the placeholder and the ID for Valkyrie Emperor itself, which you shouldn't really need too much. This even shows you the position which the placeholder will spawn, which is really, really useful. Of course, the monster will kind of move around once it has spawned, but at least it shows you exactly where the mob will spawn along with its ID. One thing to note, the ID here will differ from what you see on the wikis, for example. I will show you the way to see the proper IDs within the server a little bit later. So once we're here, we can actually look at all the different notorious monsters for Valkyrie Dunes. We have the Golden Bat here, which I have no clue what that is. But there's three different placeholders for this one with the three IDs. And again, we can see the positions of the different mobs and where they spawn. So very useful information. On the second folder here, we can actually just see the timer on which the Notorious Monster can respawn or how much time it needs in order to have its window open. Uh, for Valkyrie Emperor, you can see here it is one hour. If we go to another popular Notorious Monster, let's go to Leapin Lizzie, my favorite buddy on the whole server. Again, Leapin underscore Lizzie underscore PH. Again, we're going to see two files. The first one will give us the IDs, which in this case, there are two, along with their position. If we go to the other file, we can see here what well, we could see in the other page, but there are no respawn timers. Leap and Lizzie can pop back to back, which I can confirm is absolutely correct. So this is how you see the actual IDs and the position and all that good stuff directly from the website. Now, how do you see this in game? And that's where it gets a little more tricky. So I already have the add-on here up, but we're going to basically just show you how to load it. You will write add-on load iBar. In this case, it's already loaded. And by targeting any monster, you can actually see the name, the ID, which is what we were looking for, its weaknesses, and its position. Same thing for the strolling sapling here. We can see its ID. This works for every mob in the entire game. Now, the iBar add-on that I have has been slightly modified in order to show this information. Uh, this is all 100% legal on the server. I was given this file by Ramza or a link shell leader, and I will now be sharing that file with you. Uh, I will have it on my Discord that you can just download here into the add-on files placeholder tab that I put on here. I will leave a link to the Discord server directly in the description of the video. So what you're going to do is download this. Oh, come on. Continue to download. You're going to download this. You're going to extract the file and simply put it into your add-on folder. So you're going to replace the folder iBar by the one that is provided from the Discord. And this will give you the modified version. And from there, you have the IDs that you need for every single mob. I do think there's a second add-on you can use, something called Distance Checker or something else. Somebody can probably correct me in the comments. That also works for the ID, so if that's easier for you, no worries. At least now you know how to look at the GitLab website. Again, this was really short and sweet. I don't want to have to do a complicated edit on this one, but this should have all the information you need. If you have more questions, you can ask them directly on my Discord, message me in game, or just leave a comment on the video, and I'm sure me or others will be glad to answer. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and as always, happy adventuring.